Just look up, look up. If you guys haven't yet, please click subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as well, give this video a thumbs up, a nice like. I got a whole bunch of rehab videos coming out for you guys, plan them in advance. We got a whole bunch of injuries that either happen if you're a fighter, if you're just an average day person, hockey player, tennis player, whatever it may be. This is really designed, been sitting in my house, been working on this book, and now I got a whole bunch of videos coming out for you guys. So, like we discussed, we got, oh, can you guys even see this? We got the adductors here, all right? Oh. So it's composed of a couple of muscles, but I just want you guys to understand the importance of your inner thigh. So a lot of these with your adductor longus, your bagnus, your gracilis, and your brevis, which you can't really see because it would be like kind of up here, and it was hard to draw. I'm not like the best drawer in the world. Oh. But you see how the gracilis also crosses the knee joint, which makes the adductors a great hip stability and knee stability muscle that should be worked on a day-to-day -day basis. A lot of movements that we utilize are in the sagittal plane, which is just front and back. Think like squats, deadlift, lunge, anything like that. But yeah, we do neglect quite a bit, except for hockey players, because they do implement a lot of this, is a lot of frontal plane movement. Lateral raises, think lateral lunges, think anything that's from side to side, anything like that, any type of movements where your adductors do move in that plane, we don't really focus a lot of, and this is why we have the tendency for a lot of athletes to get a lot of groin pain. Now, since this is kind of a fighting page, but it does adapt to everyone in the world, I wanted to cover this topic because getting strong adductors is gonna play a big part in your overall strength and stability of your hip and your knee, as well having strong adductors play a big part when it comes to core stability, since a lot of the times when we're talking about bracing, we're talking about squeezing everything. When we do a lot of rehab in the clinic, we do teach our athletes to squeeze the pillow and do a glute bridge and have a strong transverse dominus activation. So the adductors play a big correlation when it comes to utilizing everything together. Your core is not just here, it's a mixture of everything down here working together to allow you the stability that you want. Oh. And when it comes to a fighting basis, a lot of the movements that we do as fighters, when it comes to a side kick, when it comes to a turn kick, when it comes to triangle chokes, arm bars, anything like that, we need those strong adductors, we need the flexibility as well. But a lot of the time we need that strength and we don't have it. So these are some of the exercises that you guys can utilize to get that rehab going. So the first one is gonna be plain and simple on your back. You're gonna lay down, you're gonna make sure your back is nice and flat. You're gonna put something between your legs. It could be a baseball, soccer ball, football, or towel like I'm doing here. And all you're gonna do is squeeze. I'm trying to get an isometric squeeze. Just like you guys saw me try to do with that freaking watermelon that I can't explode. That's what you wanna do. You're gonna go for around three to five seconds and then you're gonna relax and you're gonna repeat that about eight to 10 times. Next exercise is gonna be an adductor lift off. So you're gonna cross the leg that's above, you're gonna lay down on your side. You can either come up on your arm or lay down on your arm, it really doesn't change anything. And you're just gonna lift up. Now you can either add ankle weights, a band at the end of the table and lift that up to make it progressively harder. If not, we're gonna move on to the next exercise which is gonna be a single leg adduction. If you don't have a support system to grab on and do this motion, that is okay. Using a single leg type of motion is gonna involve more core activation, more glute meat activation on the opposite side because that's what you're using to stabilize yourself. And then we're gonna utilize that leg. And then we're also isometrically working the adductor on the opposite side. So it's kind of like a bang for your buck. If not, once you use stability first and then move to a single stance position. Right after that single leg stance position, we're gonna go to the Copenhagen side plank. This is a great one and I've actually utilized this a lot in the past when I did pull my groin and hamstring at the same time since a lot of the uh, fascia share between the semi and semi membranosus and semi tendinosus as well as the adductors, they do share a lot of fascia. So strengthening both of them kind of together is gonna be the greatest thing and a side plank is gonna be a great one. So first you're gonna start with your knee bent, not moving a static hold, then you're gonna move into kind of adductor lift off Copenhagen. 
then we're gonna make the lever arm even harder, so we're gonna strengthen, uh, strengthen, we're gonna straighten our leg all the way out. I'm tall as shit, so it's even harder for me. My legs are the longest part of my body. We've got roughly a 36 inch inseam on my leg. So you're gonna come up, static hold, then you're gonna do the motion as well. That's the next step. And then the last step that I really love a lot is going to just be some simple hockey slides or lateral lunge slides. Now the purpose of the exercise is not to drive with the leg that's in the static position, yet as you're coming down to really pull in as much as you can with your adductor. You can do this with a towel, which you saw me doing in the video. If you wanna make it even more challenging, what you can do is put a band around your leg, attach a five or 10 pound weight to the side. You're going to lateral lunge, lunge. You're gonna lateral lunge the opposite way where the band is attached to your leg and then you're going to come, step to the side, and pull that up. And that's gonna be another way to kind of just progressively get it harder and harder. Yet, utilizing all these exercises into a routine is gonna be the best bang for your buck, as well allow you to train those adductors and get that stability in your hip and your knee and your core and make them work together. So, if you found this video helpful, guys, please let me know down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you ever did hurt your groin before, if you have maybe some other questions on some other injuries. But we do have a whole bunch coming out for you, so please let me know what you thought about the video. Drop a like. Again, if you haven't, it's your boy. That's exact. Catch you in the next video. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee.